Welcome to our third lesson on financial statement analysis, of which I would want us right away to look at a concept called common statement, common size, common size, common size statements, common size what here, common size statements, common size statements. So it'll be important for you to note that eh, as the name suggests, common size, a similar base being the same. A common size financial statement displays entries as a percentage of a common base figure rather than as absolute numerical values. So we shall be having all our metrics in common size statements in common size statements, we shall be having uh, all our figures represented in form of a percentage with respect to a base value that we shall be given. Or rather, let me put it better. For income statements, the base value is always sales. So for the income statement, to be able to come up with a common size income statement, income statement, the common Base, the base here is sales. How about our balance sheet? Our balance sheet, ladies and gentlemen, our statement of financial position, our base will be equal to what here? Will be equal to total assets. 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 So ladies and gentlemen, one thing that I would want you to appreciate about this is how it is done in practice. How this concept is done in practice. I would want us straight away to go to November 2018. November 2018, question number 4A. November 2018, question number 4A. You can see two companies. They have given us A, B, C, X, Y, Z. And then we are given here a statement of financial position, again, for the two companies like that, right? So they want us to give them a vertical common si size statement of income for the year ended 30th September. So if it's statement of income, statements of income, income statements, ladies and gentlemen, what I'll do, I have my figures. What I need to do here, straight away, ladies and gentlemen, if it is a, a common size income statement for a particular company, identify, identify, identify the common income statement item, which is the total sales for the year. Total sales for the year, like now here for first company called ABC, you can see the total sales revenue is 4 million. So then ladies and gentlemen, what I need to do to be able to have a common size uh, income statement, all the figures of ABC will be divided by this four million or 4,000 here, they are given in millions. I can be using 4,000. <laughs> so I have to get a way of changing all these figures under ABC to percentage, the base being the 4,000. So what I'll do like the first one revenue, I will take 4,000 over 4,000 times 100, right? So I'd want to write this ladies and gentlemen. So remember like now revenue, like now you can see revenue. So for ABC, I'm only going to do for ABC. So for ABC, for ABC, for ABC, I can see revenue there. I can see revenue there of 4,000. I can see cost of sales of 3,000. I can see in this case here, 1,000. And ladies and gentlemen, I can see expenses. I can see expenses. So expenses, what do we have here for expenses? Expenses, I can see distribution, distribution of 200. I can see administration, administration of 290, and I can see finance cost of what year of 10, giving us a total of what year 500, which is supposed to be deducted to give us five. I'll just use this information that I have here just to do what here to demonstrate. Ladies and gentlemen, if it's a common size income statement, having identified our common base, all these figures, it doesn't matter. All the figures will be divided by that common base, all of them. 
all of them, all of them, all of them, even this one, even this one, all of them, you divided them by the common base times what you somebody, you change these to percentages, you change these to percentages, you do that for the entire statement like that. And then you get out your calculator. Of course, the first one will be 100. So in the form of percentage, this one here will be 100. The second one will be what here? Will it be three over four? Will it be three over four? Which gives me what figure somebody here? 75, 75%. So when you deduct 100 minus 75%, it will give me 25, which is of course equivalent to you talking over 1,000 over 4,000, like that. Now you come to the expenses, do the same. We have 200 over 4,000 times 100. You do the same for each one of them. Do the same for each one of them. So we have here 200 divided by 4,000 times 100, which will give me five. All the figures are in form of percentage. So we have 290 divided by 4,000 times 100, which will give me 7.25. Then we have this one here of 10% ETC. So you do like that for the entire, for the entire income statement of ABC Limited, for the entire income statement of ABC Limited. And if you come down here, I've given you a solution. I've given you a solution that the benchmark is sales. All P and L items are divided by what year? Total sales. And I've been able to show you how I got this in this particular working. So what you need to do is simply to screenshot this and then ensure that you are able to come up with a common size income statement for ABC and a common size income statement for XYZ, for XYZ, for XYZ. So that is very important for me, very important for me, very important for me. Now, as a gentleman, that now takes me straight away. I hope that is clear. 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 You have been able to get the entire photo of the entire question. So I would want us straight away now to go to the balance sheet. So for the balance sheet, common size balance sheet, they want us to give them a vertical common size statement of financial position, which is what here, a balance sheet. Vertical means you are going down. We are going down. A vertical common size. A statement of financial position. So what do I need to do, ladies and gentlemen? What I need to understand here under common size, uh, statement of financial position, under common size, uh, statement of financial position, common size, statement of financial position, ladies and gentlemen, common size, statement, statement, statement of financial, of financial, position or financial position or financial position or financial position. What I'm supposed to be knowing, ladies and gentlemen, is quite easy that here for the statement of financial position, which is my balance sheet, that the common base, the base here will be the total assets, meaning that the moment I go to a particular company and I'm able to identify the total assets of that company from that company's balance sheet, then every other figure will be divided by the total assets here to convert it to what here to percent? To percentage. To convert it to percentage again, I will use, again, I will use company ABC. So company ABC, they have given me the statement of financial position, it is here, ABC. So here I can see now current assets, current assets. I can see, ladies and gentlemen, the total assets of ABC Limited are amounting to 3150. So then what I need to do is to come and divide all these figures to change them column wise, vertically, to change them to percentage, all these figures for the entire column of ABC. So like now this will be 1200 over 3150 times 100, 600, ETC, all these figures now here to be converted to percentages by comparing each one of them to the total assets, to the total assets, so I believe that that is okay. Now, the only thing I need to do is to come and share with you uh, this particular word here, answer. This particular answer that you can pose, you can pose, you can pose, you can pose to ensure that uh, when you do them, you are getting exactly 
the same figures that you're getting. And remember, once you finish for ABC, I expect you to do the same for X, Y, Z, for X, Y, Z. So these are my workings. These are my workings. So please, you simply get to pause and of course, finish the question yourselves. Otherwise, thank you very much. In this case, I look forward to doing another question with you. Bye-bye. <coughs>